Yo, what is up everybody? Um Today is uh another time I'm gonna try to daily vlog. Goodness gracious. Oh this stuff again! Ah <laughs> I've only I tried daily vlogging I tried daily vlogging once in March. Uh and I couldn't because I eventually ran out of space. And, um, I mean, I ran out of space of everything. Like, the last thing I was expecting was my computer to run out of space, and it did. Um, but I'm starting it again. Uh, I'm starting this again. I, I decided this morning that I was gonna, like, do what I need to do. Like, go do what I need to do. Um, I've, it's become more serious now. But, I've caught myself lacking. Oh, oh gosh. So, um, my schedule consists of like only six hours of sleep. And that's obviously, I mean, that's not enough for a typical teenager like me who's growing and developing and stuff like that. And um, I've done way worse. I've done nights of three hours of sleep or no hours of sleep. And I felt good the next day. Thing is... That's not good for like consistency, but I've pushed myself further. And so right now, because I've been more used to sleeping more than like three hours and stuff like that, um, I'm trying to cut it down to six so I have more time throughout the day. And um, my body's not adapting yet. It's not used to it yet. Over a while, I'm pretty sure that my, bo that my body would adapt to that type of stuff. Like strenuous exercise, like, oh, like every almost every day and trying to recover. And having like a protein and meal kind of like plan, content plan, business plan, school plan, uh, and whatever other plans I may have for music or for anything school related. It's just, is, it's a lot. <laughs> um, but I've but I've caught myself like lacking in one area in particular a lot, which is physical activity. I personally want to see my body in a different uh, stage, just be, I I could because I want to. I would I, I just I would like to see my body uh, like stronger, more like a bodybuilding type of way, it's particularly classic type of bodybuilding. I really like when classic bodybuilders would um, strike a pose and stuff, and I and it's it was seen as like really beautiful and stuff like that. You know what I mean? So I kind of want to come off the same way my own way like I want to do bodybuilding without competing and also without the trying to get my body fat to like five percent and stuff like that you know so, but you know it does take a lot of work for I think anyone to uh, start getting into a routine now it's not my first time I've posted a I've posted a video about of, of me flexing before here it is somewhere a hey, 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 hey. <laughs> but like um what happened with my body was that I've I got I went through months and months of depression um, and uh, a negative mind pretty much like I've put my body in a I've put my mind in a very bad place for a long time and when your mind is in a bad place for a long time it is even harder to do anything positive especially if it's physical especially at one point when you when you feel like you know like nothing matters you know. So I've had to work myself up mentally like a lot and I'm finally at the part where I could like assert myself to go and reach my goals. Um, January I began to hit the gym again in order to try and instill a healthy habit in me because before I was like sleeping purposely sleeping very little three hours or no sleep um, and I was chugging a lot of soda and eating a lot of cookies which was kind of like my thing it was it got really bad to a point where I had um, just bottles of soda and like milk cartons in my room that I wouldn't find for weeks uh, this one time I, I just like stole a bottle of soda and drank it all left it here and then my mom didn't even know that there was something missing and I it was just it was a really bad thing and so luckily I've been hitting the gym with my father um, who's helped me like you know get past this stuff and it's cool because we can we can help each other like back and forth you know because not everybody's happy all the time right so 
whenever maybe he's feeling like stressed about work or something, I I can help him out when I go to the gym with him. And, you know, it's it's a cool thing I have with my father right now. I, I really I really like. I, I feel that, but the thing is, I haven't been going with him the past two days that he is gone because I've accidentally slept in. I think. What did I do yesterday? Oh yeah, I was dead asleep yesterday, and today I just fell asleep. And I keep falling asleep by accident. Because I don't mean to, like, leave my dad in the dust like that. But I just, I like today, like yesterday, actually, um, I was laying down to do something, I think. I think yesterday I tried to take a nap, and I, I tried to take a nap for, like, half an hour. Woke up in half an hour. Too tired. I was like, I'm not going to the gym. I am too tired. Went back to sleep. Dead asleep. And I had like really good dreams. <laughs> and today, um, I was trying to shoot a video. Like right, like literally, I was trying to set up the lights. That's why the lights are a little bit funky right here. And um, I was trying to shoot that video. And I didn't do it because I was I was moving around like I was trying to keep myself up because I was tired so I was sitting down and standing up and at one point I, I one point I started like falling on my bed and I was like yeah this you know my back was strained uh because there's a little bit more strain on my back I think than other people because I have a thing called scoliosis where um your spine kind of goes in an S shape but mine is not really that bad I don't want to let it get in my way but I mean it's a little bit more for me to stand and stuff like that you know but um so i was like oh my ooh, you know i feel less strain on my back and um and so i was like on the f i was on my phone because i record with a phone right so and i can't see like i can't see myself like i'm hoping the shot is good enough where i can upload it but because i can't see myself i have to like review the footage and so i kept reviewing the footage trying different uh trying different lighting angles uh and stuff like that and then i just fell asleep like i think my phone i just my phone fell somewhere and then just i would just fall asleep that's happened that's been happening happening a lot reason being because i'm trying to limit my sleep but i'm gonna push forward to try to get used to it because at the end of me at the end for me there are things that are duty and i have to achieve them and this thing that happened today and yesterday about me not going to the gym is kind of it's not really acceptable there's different things that i will be more strict about i'm very like i'm more strict about trying to like get content out all the time and i'm more strict about um how much i work in school and stuff like that but when it comes to my body goals there's not like an end point like i'm not going for competition I don't need to compete against anyone. And frankly, I have enough confidence and self-esteem to where I can even go like I can even get fatter and have self-confidence and self-esteem. Because for me, I look in the mirror and I don't see I don't see any more disgust and um dread. I don't call myself a, like a fat fuck or something like that. Ooh, that's not good for YouTube. <laughs> I forgot. Um but like I won't I'll look at myself and not think negatively of myself. Because it's one of the things I had to learn um, when I had to overcome mental stuff. I, it's, it's, it's more easy to look at other people you deem or other people deem perfect. And then look at yourself and be like, wow, like I look really bad right now. And maybe you could look really bad. Maybe there's something um, that you really don't like about yourself. But then it's up to you to look at yourself in a more positive way instead of saying i'm i look like crap i hate myself you could say there are things that you can improve there are things that you can do better there's a reason why i'm here and i can get better and this can be better if i wanted to do it those are the things that i've looked in the mirror to myself and said um not necessarily out loud but out loud as well so i have enough confidence I've, and i've worked myself up to this point where I can get even fatter and still have the self-confidence. But I still want to change my like body in a, in a, in a way that's more uh, attractive to most people. Um, 
but most importantly, in a way that's most attractive to me. So I'm right here trying to learn about like how to lose fat because my philosophy before was like, there's a certain point where you're doing cardio. There's a, there's a certain point when you're doing cardio um, that you do it for a certain amount of time or a certain amount of energy and you're losing fat, not muscle. But it turns out uh, you also lose muscle when you're doing cardio. So basically the old school way of like getting big and ripped is to get big, right? Like do the movements in the gym, get that muscle and then burn that muscle with the fat by doing cardio for like an hour or something like that. Or if you're really old school before like the treadmills and stuff like that, you'd go on the track or you go on the beach and, and run or, or something like that. Or you go biking or you do like 30 sets or 40 sets or something like that. It, it all depends on if you're going to like a competition, if you're doing bodybuilding for real, for real, and you got to compete against the best in the world or maybe even the best locally. It, that's all up to you if you want to compete. But for me, um, I'm trying to find the best way that I can burn fat without burning my muscle. And in search of that, my body's been like lacking a little bit. Well, yeah, my but it but that's okay because again, I have the self esteem to look at myself in the mirror and be like, I can change this, and it's not necessarily even anything wrong. Because if you think about it, if I was working out and trying to change my body for other people, for other people to accept me, that's like okay, like the reason. I do, I want to work out is because I kind of want to come off as um, pleasing, particularly to the opposite gender. And as like weird um, that may sound, it's true. Because if we're being honest with, our, with ourselves, like, wouldn't you like to be, come off as more attractive to the opposite or same gender or whatever gender that you're attracted to? Because, like, okay, like a girl, right? Let's say, like, a, like, a, let's say, like, a girl wants to impress a guy. Wouldn't then that girl start putting on maybe more makeup, maybe dressing nicer and stuff like that, maybe, um, getting into physical activity? That's the same for me, except it's not a particular girl that I'm going for. I just really like and appreciate when a girl can. Or a woman, let's say, can work out and work for what they have physically. Well, for anything really, but I, I really, I, I think I, I'm really attracted to that, you know, to, to like a model or like a really attractive woman, um, being able to like seduce or maybe even just really make a man or men fall over for her because she has like a like a beautiful physical appearance. And I, I would like to do that for, uh, for my side, you know, of uh, being a dude. Um, as, you know, as uh, weird as that sound is, it's, it's true. And I think people can relate to that um, <laughs> because it's, it's, it's a little different for me if I have to, like, um, come out as, like, an entertainer or even just a content creator and say, hey, everybody, um, I'm doing it so I can be attractive to the other gender. And then people will be like, oh, snap, that is so vain. But it's something that I, I like. I, I would like to, to do that. I, I feel like, yeah, it is kind of, it, it is it is to please other people. But um, it's going to be more rewarding when, uh, you know. And also, I kind of like to look... It, it's a confidence booster as well. It does boost your confidence when you feel confident enough that you look, like, good. So, like, when you can... When you can go... When you can look one side and look to the other side and know that you're the other person... Okay, this is weird. <laughs> but, like, it, it does give... It's a confidence booster and it releases stress and... Um, there's a lot of good benefits to it. Maybe it's not necessary for the look part of it, but for me, that is the look part of it. And also because I kind of like to look at myself like that. I like to look, I like to look at myself like cut and stuff like that, and have muscle. And I think it's really cool. It, like in my eyes, it's really cool to lift weights, 
and grow muscle and it's, it's just really cool to me man so that's like the reason why i do it so um i'm here trying to learn about nutrition and i don't know what to do <laughs> Because there's so many things, there's so much that goes into like nutrition and there's so many opinions and stuff like that. Um, like you should walk for uh, a mile or something like that. Or you should um, do low intensity, whatever, list training, which, which is when you walk on a treadmill for a long time. Maybe don't eat white bread, switch from white rice to brown rice. <laughs> um, do hit cardio. Don't do hit cardio. Uh, basketball works. There's just a lot of stuff, and I recently, uh, I recently I've seen a documentary with my father, uh, called Fed Up, which is I think a 2004 documentary. Um, yeah, I'm gonna actually look it up. Hold on, because <laughs> it's easier. Now here we go, fed up. Upbending the conventional wisdom of why we gain weight and how to lose it. Fed up on Earth's e dirty a dirty secret of American foot foot oh food industry. Uh snap. I think you get it. And I've been watching this stupid video before I started vlogging, which is um this. Oh wait, I forgot that's copyright. It's no wait ah. But Wait, I forgot. Fair use. I'm commenting on it. So, there's this dumb video of nutrition called Balanced Diet, but it's, it's like, it gives me info, so that's why I'm watching it, but he gave it a big dislike for the stupid f Ah. Uh. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Um, and also, there's a time, there's like a wind, there's a window of how long I have to work out. So like right now I would be working out and I'd be finished at eight and at eight, I have to do something else. So, um, I'm about to hit eight, it's 7.34 and I need to get back on what I was doing. But uh, yeah, so um, that's my little like, <laughs> that's my little rant on nutrition and stuff. Thank you so much for watching. Um, subscribe and hit the bell with your penis <laughs> stay notified whenever I upload which I'm gonna try again to make daily hey thank you very much um and I'll see you later goodbye <laughs>